Happy Thursday. How you doing? I want to talk to you today about reasons why, six reasons why prayers don't get answered. How many of you know that if a prayer does not get answered, there's something wrong? There's always a reason why prayers do get answered or why they don't. Let's talk about it. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Pastor Jim gets results. You got to know that when you call me, you're going to get what you need. Somebody just called me. She had a major issue going on with the deed to her house. It all straightened out after she got off the phone. She said, as soon as I got off the phone with you, I knew that it was all taken care of. And it was. But she knew it before she called me, that it would be taken care of. That's why she called, to have agreement in prayer. I agreed with her, my faith got it done for. I believe whatever I pray for, in the name of Jesus, it's going to get done. And it does, and it has for years, huh? Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. It's just incredible that you have a phone number to call where you can get answers to your prayers. The reason that's such a big deal to me is because when Mary and I were struggling for so long, so many years, we were broke. And I mean broke. We had nobody to talk to. We had nobody who would pray over us and get results. But you do. That's why when we broke through and all of our debt went away and we began to live in abundance and I was doing audio messages at the time before I started doing videos and I just happened to say one day, I said, you know, if you need me to pray with you, call me. So somebody did. He called. And he said, I have inherited an, a large amount of money. And my brother is the executor of the will, and he won't give it to me. He just won't give it to me. He said, there's no hurry. He'll give it to me when he's good and ready. Just being mean. I told that man, I didn't pray over him. I said, your brother will not be able to sleep at night until he gives you that money in the name of Jesus. He said, okay, thanks. Hung up the phone. He called me three, four days later. He said, I got it. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, my brother came by this morning, knocked on the door. I opened the door. He said, here's a check for the entire amount. He said, I have not been able to sleep. I said to Mary, I think we're on to something here. And people have been getting their prayers answered ever since. <laughs> and I mean amazing things and healing. See, we were all about healing before. But when I realized God would do a financial miracle like that, it opened up a whole new world. And we've been seeing financial miracles for the last 10, 12 years. I praise God. God will do miracles. Doesn't matter if it's a healing miracle or a financial miracle, he'll do it. If you're not getting prayers answered, something is wrong. And there's a lot of reasons why you may not be getting an answer to your prayer. How many of you know that God never says no? He just doesn't do it. If he doesn't, if he's not gonna answer a prayer, he's not gonna say, 
No. He's not going to say. Maybe later. Or, you're not ready for it. No, he doesn't do a thing. He doesn't respond. If he doesn't, there's a reason. I'll tell you what some of those reasons are. Call me if you need prayer. Please share this video. Nobody should be able to go without getting their prayers answered because I can get it done for them. Until you get enough faith to get your own prayers answered, I will help you. And then you can help people, other people get their prayers answered. That's how it works. You get help when you need it. And when your faith gets to the point where you don't need it, you can help somebody else. I'm all about expanding the kingdom, folks. We got people in our church who are getting things done for other people. I praise God for that. Amen. Hindrances to prayer. The reason your prayers are not being answered. Share this video. Tell everybody you know. Make sure you call me today if you do your tithes and offerings. Tomorrow's offering day. But if you do them today, which a lot of people do them early, then you can sure call me. Amen. And let me speak that God's word for word blessing over you. The number one reason why people don't get their prayers answered is doubt and unbelief. James chapter 1 says, If anybody lacks wisdom, let him ask God. Is that scriptural? Yes. Jesus said, ask the Father in my name. So we do. Nothing wavering. That nothing wavering means no doubt. You cannot doubt. Doubt would be, maybe God will answer the prayer. Maybe he won't. Maybe I get healed. Maybe I don't. Maybe I can pay the rent. Maybe I can't. That's what you call doubt. Doubt is the word duo, which means two different outcomes. If you're thinking about two different outcomes, that's doubt. I believe God's word exactly the way it's written. And I absolutely refuse to believe anything else. I refuse to believe. Nobody can make me believe something that goes against God's word. Because I have purpose in my heart that I will not doubt one word in that book. And to believe something else is to bring doubt. That's, that's doubt. And I'm not going to believe anything else. I believe that God hears my prayers in the name of Jesus and he will answer them because Jesus said he would and that's it. I refuse to believe anything else. I believe I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus and I am healed and I refuse to believe anything else. I am believe, I believe I'm supposed to live an abundant life and I refuse to believe anything else. You can refuse to believe. Thomas refused to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead. And Jesus called him faithless. Well, I refuse to believe anything other than what God's word said. Abraham got to the point where he did not consider his own body. His own body, this is in Romans chapter 4. His own body, which is what we call the circumstances. The circumstances of his situation, him and Sarah, was they were too old to have a baby. But God said they would. Well, when he got to the point where he stopped considering his body and only considered what God's word said, what God had said, she got pregnant. I refuse to consider any circumstances or situations or any outside influences or what anybody says. The only thing I will ever consider is what God said. What his word said. And that's why I get such incredible results. Because I refuse to believe. Jesus said, these signs shall follow them that have faith in my name. They shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover. I refuse to believe anything else. I refuse to believe anything else other than the fact that somebody is healed when I say so. 
You shall decree a thing, and it shall be done. It says in Job chapter 22, verse 28. That's all I believe. I believe that, and I refuse to believe anything else. The number one reason why prayers don't get answered is doubt and unbelief. And speaking it, that's the worst thing you can do. It's one thing to have doubt and unbelief. It's quite another thing to speak it. I wrote the book on speaking. The Power of Positive Word. Small book. The second most important book ever written besides the Bible. If you don't know what is in this book, God's Word, the Bible, will not work for you. That's a fact. Now, you might get saved, but you're going to still be sick and broke. But if you know what's in this book, I can get you taken care of. Even if you doubt, even if you don't believe that God's word is going to work in your life, keep your mouth shut. Don't be asking questions. Well, Pastor Jim, I remember 25 years ago when somebody spoke a curse over me. <laughs> I don't consider that. All I consider is what God's word says. Well, Pastor Jim, everybody in my family has been sick. <laughs> I don't consider that either. Well, Pastor Jim, everybody in my family's been broke. I don't consider that either. All I know is I said you're blessed and you're blessed because God's word says you're blessed. And once I speak it, I activate it. Just like God's word said, the priest shall activate the blessing. Numbers chapter six. So I do. And I refuse to believe anything else other than the fact that that works. Somebody said to me one day, he says, you know, Pastor Jim, he says, you have really got strong, extraordinary faith. And I said, listen, the only difference between me and everybody else is I just believe what God said. I just believe it. With all my heart and everything in me, I believe what he said. And I refuse to believe anything else. Number one thing that causes prayers to not get answered is people will pray and then say, I wonder if God's going to do that. Or they have doubt. Or they don't believe it in the first place. Most people who pray have no intentions of ever getting them answered. They just pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. I praise without ceasing. Mary and I praise the Lord all day long. Very seldom do I ask God for anything. But when I do, I get it. I spend all my time getting things for other people. My whole life is centered around making God's word work for other people. And that's what I do. And I've been blessed abundantly because that's what I do. You know, the more people you try to help, the better off you're going to be. Did you know that? I know that. God has called me to bless his people. And that's what I do. And it works. And I refuse to believe anything else. Get rid of the doubt and unbelief. You get rid of that by simply refusing to believe anything else. When I pray for you, when I speak over you, when you call me, refuse to believe anything other than the fact that God will give you what we ask for. And you will be blessed. Tell everybody you know about this video. I want to get everybody blessed. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen. This is an extraordinary ministry, folks. Be part of it.